Now, there are some other benefits uh, to cloud computing as well. Um, the first is <clears throat> that it provides what's what we sort of refer to as an innovation uh, sandbox. That is, because you're not devoting resources to the maintenance of technology, you, you're able to devote resources towards 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 experimentation with with uh, with software and applications um, and functionality that can actually grow your business or, or or more effectively manage costs because you have access to computing horsepower that you'd otherwise never be able to afford. Uh, computing horsepower, if you're talking about buying serv uh, buying buying servers and physical equipment, you know, is, is 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 expensive. And for most businesses, there's a limit to what you can afford, and there's a limit, therefore, to what you can innovate with and 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 experiment with in terms of really driving better better business results. In the cloud, you have access to a whole bunch of computing power that you could otherwise never afford, and you can use that to drive productive business experiments. It also, in terms of a benefit, really levels the playing field because um, a lot of software, uh, in particular business applications, uh, because they required um, because they required rather expensive systems to run on, and because they required you know uh, uh, very um, uh, expert technical resources to maintain, um, really they were out of the reach of, in many cases, small and medium-sized businesses. They could benefit from these complex systems. They would more effectively help them run their business, uh, but they couldn't afford them simply because they, they didn't have the resources that a large enterprise does or did um, to, uh, to, 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 to spend on them. So cloud computing allows, in many ways, small and medium-sized businesses to be on the same level playing field as larger businesses because it shrinks the cost uh, and makes the cost of consuming various forms of technology more affordable for the small to medium-sized business. Um, <clears throat> another key benefit is that cloud computing allows you to be far more agile and adaptable in terms of how you use technology. Um, the reality is that you can, in a cloud computing model, try different things. Uh, if you think it's going to be useful for your business, you can give it a try. Uh, most, most times you can, you can have some form of test experience or trial drive experience, if you will. And you can buy what works. Uh, you can subscribe to it if it happens to be delivering value to you, or you cannot. If it, if it doesn't. And a final sort of cloud benefit is that, <clears throat> is that it often allows you to generate more revenue um, because it's now more cost, more cost, more cost effective. You can, you can access it more affordably on a subscription basis than if you had to, for example, install a complex customer relationship management system on premises. Many times that would just be unaffordable, whereas in a cloud computing model, it's not only affordable, but it's easily, it's easily accessible. The same to a degree is true of call center software, for example. That can be consumed in a cloud format now um, and allow you to grow, to, grow, to grow revenue. So that's a final, uh, a final sort of major, major cloud benefit.